Greetings golfers, Duffer to Driver here, and today we're going to see what breaking 100 looks like. We'll be playing the front nine holes of my home course, Golf Dorval. I'm a high handicap golfer, so if you're struggling to break 100, this video may help you. My biggest hurdles to breaking 100 are consistent ball striking, taking the smart shot and not the hero shot, and mental death spirals. Even having all these present in your game, it is possible to break 100, as you'll see me do here. My driver has been uh, very unreliable this year so far, usually slicing to the right. You can see me lining up here, my shot to the left of the fairway, and I hit a decent 200 yarder that lands on the right rough up on the hill. A pretty good start to the round for me. This unfortunately will leave me a pretty tricky second shot as the green is hiding behind all this rough and some trees. Instead of trying to hit over the trees, I opt to hit more left, hoping to roll down onto the fairway in front of the green. So short of the green, I'm not very confident at this distance and you'll see me cut my follow through short here. It's a reflex I have to avoid sending it over the green entirely and something I really need to work on. In this case, I get pretty lucky. Here you'll see my first big mistake of the round, opting for my three wood in the rough. I usually slice this shot and should have opted for my hybrid or six iron instead. It's not a great idea to always default to your longest hitting club. In this case, I barely hit the ball. If you're trying to break 100, you'll get lots of shots with stuff in the way. I know with the distance I need to hit, the tree is in my way. I opt to aim the seven iron left of the tree to set up for a chip shot as my fourth shot instead of going for the green here. Not everything goes to plan though. Yeah. One bad shot can hurt, but two bad shots can really punish you on a par five. It's put the pressure on as I scramble for bogey here. It's important to not give up and try your best to make even the long putts. Here I score myself a bogey, which when you're trying to break 100 is a great score. We can see here that my driver slice has vanished, so I hit the ball straight left towards the water. This unfortunately is the hardest hole in the course, which puts me in a bad position. I'm left with 165 yards to the hole with water between myself and the green. To my right is the fairway, also over the water, and to the left is the green of the sixth hole. I decide to aim left of the green. I have less of a chance to lose my ball in the water, but still attack the hole. It's very risky because my aim is not consistent and sometimes my irons just decide to go right. I even change out my golf ball to one that I don't mind losing in the water. Beyond lucky, I clear the water and land in the rough, close to the green. 
I have a tendency to send my sandwich straight up into the air, so using it at this distance is a really big mistake. Oh, I went nowhere. You can see my second attempt, I switched to the pitching wedge, something I'm much more comfortable with. Okay. Plus four after three holes is good, and I'm lucky I only got a double bogey at the previous hole. This par three has the flag sitting behind the bunker. Uh, smart play for someone like me is to aim left, clear of the sand. A bit of a slice and some unhelpful wind ruins that plan, though. A high handicap's nightmare is a bunker. I either send it over the green into the next fairway, or don't even escape the bunker. Despite just scoring a triple bogey, you'll notice I'm doing my best to try to stay positive. I don't count my score while I'm playing, so I don't actually know that I'm already plus seven for the round. It helps me avoid death spirals and keeps the good shots possible. So an uphill chip here gives me a chance for an up and down for par. But remember that we're aiming for bogeys today. Pars are a sweet bonus. Now, although I'm in the rough here, I know I can make this shot onto the green as long as I have good contact. You can hear that I mess up my shot, but all is not lost. A lot of breaking 100 is trying to save yourself out of bad positions. After getting a bogey on this hole, I'm feeling pretty confident. This hole, number seven, is protected by water in the front. I know my six iron will carry over the water if I hit it correctly. So I aim left to avoid the water. But my slice has other ideas. I'm stoked for a chance for a birdie putt here, but this positioning was honestly a happy accident. That's golf for you. Oh my god. Moving on to the longest par 5 on the course, I'm feeling very confident after those last two holes. Another straight drive puts me on the actual fairway for the first time this round, even if it is a little short. So my 3-wood wasn't a great hit, but I feel like I can get fairly close to the green with this club on this shot.
but inconsistent ball striking can strike you at any moment. So I picked the right club here, but I missed far right of the green. My confidence right now is shot. After the last hole, I'm not confident here. I mishit most of my shots on the last one, and now I'm all up in my head. So now we're way left in the rough, and I don't have a good option here. Use a hybrid to try to knock it further down the fairway, or top the ball and send it 30 yards further left. Now I have trees blocking my way onto the fairway, and still over 200 to go. I opt to shoot through the tree onto the right side of the rough. Thank you. Finally, a shot. Pretty much again. And salvaging a double on the last hole puts me at 49 for the front nine. You do the same on the back nine and we break 100. Trying to break 100 is far from what I would call clean golf. You'll be in the rough, scrambling from lots of mishits and bad lines. But with practice, a change in mindset, it can come to you. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what helped you break 100. Or if you haven't, what your biggest hurdle is.